Now let's talk about local compare. So local compare is used whenever you want to compare two strings. So for example, a reference string and a compare string you pass in as the first parameter. Let's see some examples on how local compare works. So if I have a reference string that occurs before the compare string, for example, A and B, if I call local compare on A and then pass in B as the first parameter, local compare will return a numeric value. In this case, it will return a negative number. So for some browsers, it can be minus one and for others, it could be minus two or even minus three. So in general, a negative number when the reference string occurs before compare string. Now, when the reference string occurs after compare string, for example, B and A, if I call local compare, this time we'll get a positive number plus one for some browsers and plus two for others or even plus three. And when reference string is equivalent to the compare string, for example, A and A, in this case, I will get zero. So local compare compares two strings and it returns a numeric value. So a negative number when the reference string occurs before compare string, a positive number when reference string occurs after compare string and zero when the reference string is equivalent to compare string. So how do I remember this? Let's think about these as numbers. So for example, one comes before two. If I do one minus two, this will return a negative number. But if this was two, then one, so two occurs after one, two minus one will be a positive number. So that's how we remember how local compare works. Now, the second parameter is locals. So uh, by default, if you didn't pass in locals, locals will be your browser's default language. For example, for me, it's going to be English, United States. So let's see some examples here. So I have here A with an omelet mark, and I'm going to compare with Z. So in German, uh, A starts before Z. So I'm going to get a negative number. But in Swedish, I will get a positive number because in Swedish, A sorts after Z. So that's an example of how uh, changing the locals changes the returned value from local compare. And now the third parameter is options. This is an object you pass in to your local compare. By the way, locals and options are both optional. So let's see an example here. So I'm going to compare again German and Swedish. So if I compare A with an omelet with A, I will get a positive number. The same thing in Swedish because in both languages, A sorts after A. Now I'm going to go and pass in options. So options is going to be an object. Options here, I think we have uh, six options. One of them is sensitivity. I'm going to see to base. So this means that I want to compare a with an omelet with A based on their base letter. Are they separate base letters or not? So I'm going to do the same thing in Swedish. So here I'm going to get zero and here I'm going to get a positive number because in German A has A as the base letter, but in Swedish A and A are separate base letters. And that's it for local compare. Now let's move on to the next method.